Genshin Neptunia V2! Run of the mill <gasps> fish. Who's the target? Stand back. There's no need to waste your life senselessly. Now then, what shall I do? There. I've been waiting. One key. I will fulfill my duties as king.
Everything will be fine if you leave it to me. Going here. Let's do our best. Hey, everyone, let's close in. Demonic Inferno. <laughs> Who's next? Looks like we win! Together. 
Yeah, between the festival and dealing with Affymax, we've been working 24-7. I heard they popped up in last station recently. Right. If I recall, what got stolen over there was some company's documents and research about some of their patents. Didn't Arbor steal a game console before that, too? Yep, for some reason, Affymax keeps stealing Planetunian game consoles. I don't really know what's up with that. But people are starting to joke that the game consoles are the most valuable thing Planetune has to offer. Seriously, I have no idea what they're planning with that. It's such a weird move. Ooh! A used game shop in a place like this? Chuko's super rare secondhand shop. Sounds like there might be some bargains. Let's take a peek. Oh, that shop. It opened pretty recently. They sell mostly a bunch of retro consoles and games. Be still, my beating heart. I have a feeling that a retro treasure exists within these walls. <sighs> I can't believe this happened. Miss Sales Clerk Mouse, is something wrong? Oh, customers. Hello. Welcome to my shop. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm all closed up today. Closed? Did something happen? Yes, something awful. You see, all of my game merchandise was stolen. C could the culprit possibly be the secret organization? Highly probable. So, did you report this to the police? I just finished doing that. Okay, that's good. Then, could you let us in on all the details? My name's Aya. I work for the Basilicom. These other two are Nep and, I mean, Neptune and Kampa. Nice to meet you. I'm the manager of this store, Chuko. That's an adorable name. It's nice to meet you, too. I see. So when you came to work, the store was already in this state. And all of your used games and consoles had already been stolen from your shop. Consoles and games valuable enough to warrant stealing them? They aren't all that expensive, so I can't believe they're really worth it. <laughs> you guys don't understand the high values placed on retro games. It's these kind of titles that core fans keep forever because they're not made anymore. They can go for ten times their original price. Ten times? Oh, that's nothing. Some games produced in small quantities might sell for over 100 times the original price. 100? But does anyone even buy them for that much? Oh, Kampa, you don't get it. It's a pretty good look to have games like that in the shop, even if no one ever actually buys them. Just by having them on display, lots of customers will roll in from curiosity or thinking that the shop has a good selection. So that means rare games and consoles can mean a lot for a shop's status. You're amazing, Nep Nep. You know so much! For that very reason, my shop had all kinds of rare consoles and games proudly on display in several cases. But as you can see, all the cases have been broken into. And they've all been stolen! My shop's already struggling because of copied games and illegal downloads. And now this! There will be no forgiveness for that thief. As a gamer, I can't forgive this crime. They most certainly deserve death. Nep's personal desires aside, the Basilicon will conduct its own investigation. We'll contact you as soon as we find something. Thank you so much for your kindness. It's gotten so dangerous lately. I hope we can go back to how peaceful it used to be here. Honestly, Planetune's doing relatively okay. I just got word that Leanbox is being invaded by unknown forces. Doesn't get worse than that. The bummer for us is that all air and ship transportation has been halted because of it. That's kind of scary. I wonder if Bert's okay. I hope she's working something out.
Otome. What's up? You're serious? All right, got it. Thanks. Was that a work call? Did they find Affinex? No, that's not it. Remember that game shop that was just robbed? Apparently, someone just tried to sell a huge lot of stolen consoles and games at another shop. Doesn't get more suspicious than that. Then we can find the culprit using their ID. Well, unsurprisingly, when asked for their ID, they refused and ran off. But the person had some distinct features, so it's only a matter of time before they're caught. Well, by person, I mean mouse. The thief was a mouse? Yep, and from the description, that mouse is probably... Baloney! It's that mouse from all the other games! Let me explain. This rat's name is Warichu, and he's a small-time villain causing all sorts of trouble around the world. Having fallen head over heels for Kampa in an earlier encounter, he's been dealing with this unrequited love for quite some time now. Well, I'm sure it'll stay unrequited forever after this. You're not her, are you, Mr. Mouse? Good at telling jokes. I'm not injured, so you can rest easy. I, I see. In a way, that's disappointing. Well, anyway, it's been a while, Mr. Mouse. Why are you here in Planetune today? It's... To resell stolen games, isn't it? All right, book them, Nepo. Er, Neptune. We know you were trying to resell the merchandise you stole from a used games shop. How in the heck? But I didn't even show my ID in case my identity would be exposed. The suspect pool shrinks dramatically when a mouse is suspected. You're the only one who seems to commit any crimes. To think my popularity would come back to fight me. I'm not sure it was your popularity that did you in just now, little dude. just licked my fingers! An opening to... Oh, crap! What are you doing, Iffy? Hey, he licked my fingers! That's disgusting and dirty! Gosh dang it! If we don't hurry, that dirty rat's gonna get away! <laughs> no way am I gonna get caught by slowpokes like you, too! On second thought, maybe being caught by Kappa wouldn't be that bad. Wow! It's a giant mouse! Mommy, look! A giant mouse is running this way! Out of the way! Huh? <laughs> Mommy! Darling, are you okay? the worst. But now, that girl's gonna show up. Hmm? That girl? Hold it right there! There she is! Choo! The heavens, the earth, the people all call! They summon me to defeat the wicked! Listen up, evildoer! Who in the hay is that? I think I know that kid from somewhere. Who the hell are you? If you're so tough, out of my way! I am the hero known as Presto Mask! To cause a child to cry is inexcusable! I will deliver swift justice! What the hell is with this loser wearing that stupid mask? If you won't move, I'll have to move you by force. I won't allow it! 
Take this! My special move, Presto Kick! <laughs> Some people are just too proud to admit their own mistakes. Thank you, Presto Mask! Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? I only did what's expected of a hero of justice. You don't need to thank me, ma'am. The epitome of a hero. How cool is that? So you're the ones chasing after that mouse? That's right. Hmm, never seen your face before. Then, as a first-time service, I'll lower the price to 1,000 credits. What? Did you just say 1,000 credits? Oh, I forgot to mention, but she takes money from anyone who's not a kid. No way. How can there be such a greedy hero? I don't even have any money. No money? Jeez, what a bum. Well, for this one time and one time only, I'll treat it as a first time free trial. But you better pay up properly next time, in advance, too. I'll see you all another time then. Farewell! Uh. Nep, you look more confused than a doggo bouncing around a leaf guard. Iffy. A hero just demanded money for her services. I feel like I just entered the Twilight Zone. Hey, you're always saying how the people of game industry should think outside the box more. That kid's about as outside the box as they come. <laughs> Mr. Mouse is very... out of it. Iffy, would it be okay if I took him back to the Basilicom and fixed him up a bit? Jeez, Kampa, he's a thief, you know. Besides, the police wouldn't... But I can't just leave him out here. Look at him. He's just lying there unconscious on the ground. I understand how you feel, but come on. Iffy, I second Kampa's motion. Let's get him healed up. You too, Nap? It's not like we're complete strangers. We can throw him a bone, right? Besides, he's a little guy, but his network's probably pretty big. We might be able to get some more info about Affimax's next move. Well... I guess that's true. Not a bad idea coming from you, Nip. Oh, I know, right? Okay, so we'll hold him at the Basilicom temporarily as an important witness.
Well then, who wants to die? Stand back! There's no need to waste your life senselessly. Fall My into turn. hell! On this magic sword! 